We all know that ricochets happen, and they can be nasty. Are you going mad? But can a bullet bounce three times to kill the shooter? Apparently not. But we still got one left in the chamber. We are now going to try it using this piece of Schedule 40 plumbing pipe. Oh no, not in this state. This is merely a raw material. We're gonna bend it. <laughs> yeah! The triple ricochet myth is busted, but Jamie and Adam have hatched a plan to replicate the result. They aim to shoot through a curvy steel pipe, and the bending machine's a mechanical marvel. So the way I figure it, what if we shot the bullet into something that didn't actually involve an impact, like, say, a bent pipe? It does one thing. And it does it really well. I like that. There we go. <laughs> does like, this remind you of when you used to hunt mastodon? <laughs> like a big macaroni. You really did on Mastodon. All that remains is for Adam to mount and secure the pipe, while Jamie positions a fat slab of ballistics gel to hopefully catch the bullet. At this point, you may be wondering, what is the curve of the bent pipe you're shooting into? Well, it's a good question. Right now, this pipe has a radius of about 88 inches. That means if it was a complete circle, it would be about 15 feet across. Why haven't we bent it to come all the way back around to the gun? That's simply because we're not sure this is going to work at all. So we're going to incrementally sneak up on it. Why put all our eggs in one basket? Range is hot. Firing into an 88 inch radius tube. Three. Two, one. Looks like it came out. And I can see where it hit. Uh-huh. Wow, I had no idea it would be so pristine. But look at that, it's a nice little flat on it. Uh-huh. Where it slid around the pipe. So a bullet can at least slide around steel and return with a vengeance. It penetrated 14 and a half inches, uh, which would cripple the shooter. Our first and shallowest bend on the pipe gave us 622 feet per second as an exit speed, which means it was fully lethal. Not only that, but if you look at how far it went in this ballistics gel, if it hit me this way, it would have gone clean through me. So now to ramp up to a fitting finale. The machines redeployed to give maximum curve for their bending butt. The plan is to wrestle the pipe almost back in a circle. 23 inch radius. That's pretty tight. That's pretty tight. More friction decreases the chance of success, but they're both optimistic. Let's go see how it fits. I think it's gonna work. I'm feeling so good about this. In fact, Adam's so fired up, he offers himself as the target. Well, kinda. Range is hot. 46 inch diameter pipe coming all the way back around in three, two, one. Did it go through? You've got a hole in your chest there, buddy. <laughs> If bad guy Adam actually had a heart, he now has a hole in it. We've still got ten and a half inches. All right, well, the final speed will be determined by the high-speed camera. We got a final exit speed, 338 feet per second. Yes. A kill shot. That would be a kill shot. Well, potentially lethal. Nice work. I'm all happy now. There's no doubt it's a stunning result. But we know that the myth has meandered somewhat from its ricochet roots. But what's the takeaway from this myth? Well, we know that people get killed by ricochets. That's not the point. The point is that a bullet bouncing off three surfaces, bing, 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 and killing someone is totally busted. <laughs> On the new series, Motor City Motors, Detroit's most innovative designers and builders are put to the test again. Next, the boys...
Cheese are paving the way for Detroit's smooth comeback. We want to do pothole filler. That's a cool idea, man. Serving up asphalt to go. 15 inches of pure fury. In the back of a tricked out Suburban. Oh. Doesn't seem safe at all. Everybody, steer clear of this side of the car. Come on, kill it. Damn, son. Motor City Motors, coming up next. It's all new on Discovery.